everyone, it's Joe, and the Raggedy Ann and Andy journal is done. It was definitely um, a labor of love because it is very hard to find these um, Raggedy Ann pictures and all that type of thing that you can use. Um, it's just not a popular thing right now. So. Anyways, this is the journal. It's really, really thick. It's really a big one. But first I'll show you the tie before I take it off here. And um, let's unmove it up here. I've done some cute things with it. Here we go. Can you see that? There we go. And it's got some little flowers and lace and colors and all this kind of stuff. And it's on a piece of ribbon. And then on the end of this one, I had a little picture left. So... I, I put that on there. I was able to purchase some uh, material that had Raggedy Ann and Andy on it. So, so it just ties. And this would be the cover. And this, this is all um, sewn on, but it's also got a little batting underneath it, almost like a trapundo. So here in the picture. And then the homemade flower. And then we've got the fun material that I used that came from some of the things that we used in the book. So, and then it's on the side, it's got some, it's not lace, it's, um, it's flowered material, ribbon, and then just a plain back. So, and I tried recording with my camera today, and it didn't turn out very good at all. So I guess I'm just going to have to stick to what I've got for right now, uh, unfortunately. But anyways, let's get started on this thing because, like I said, it's big. Let me show you the side of it. Okay. So this is material here, and this is the cloth cover. And this piece of paper, I probably have had this piece of paper for six, seven, maybe eight years, I don't know. But I've been saving it for just something just like this, and it's Raggedy Ann paper. I, I got it one time when we went to the, um, the scrapbook show in Charlotte. And, okay, so, a lot of pretty colors in here. And then, all right, so I'm going to put the name of the place that I got these, um, printables from down at the bottom. I think it's called uh, Country Cottage. And I will put the link down below. So here she is sitting with her dolly and having tea, I guess. A lot of room for journaling in here. A lot of different pictures. I also made some collages of some of the materials that I've got. And that's what this page is made out of. Some two or three kinds of material and lace. And then I did one of the pictures on there. You certainly see when you're looking for Raggedy Ann a lot of different pictures of Raggedy Ann. All right, here she looks like she's upside down, and she is, because she got into something. I don't remember what, but anyways, she's hanging out to dry. She's on the on the clothesline. Okay, and this comes out and opens up. A little pad of paper in there. A lot of little details in here. <clears throat> okay. All right, one of our first tuck spots, and here's one of the pictures that I've gotten. And stamping in here, also painting from the jelly print. Here's some more paper. It just got to be a labor of love. It was just so much fun when I was doing it. All right, so like all my other ones, if this has got some color me spots and I thought this one was really really cute so it'll be a lot of fun this is made out of a, a piece off of a dress and it's a pocket and again it's her hanging on the line upside down and then I've got a lot of my um, uh, seam bindings in it and I have colored my own seam bindings that's kind of nice to do if you can because it gives you a chance to get the colors you want and here we go. This is 
half of a doily. Some washi tape along here. Another picture with the homemade flower here. And lace on the top. This is the jelly print paper again. And this is a cutout of her. And <clears throat> I also have these um, little tiny tags. Let me see if I can get them centered. Little tiny tags. I don't know what I've got, about six of them, I think. But they're tucked in different different areas in the in the book. So here's a piece of the material. And there she is getting thrown in the air because they were having fun. Another tuck spot or another uh, one of the tags. And it's inside of one of the pockets. And here's another one of the Color Me pages. And this is, I'll take it off. This is Raggedy Ann. It's got a little flower on the back. And it's a paper clip. So get back on there, Raggedy Ann. All right, more Raggedy Ann paper. Here's some paper for journaling and another tuck spot or slip spot here. And here's another one. This is off the jelly print. And then I just put some flowers on it. And you can write on these. The, the texture is such that you can write on without any problem. And here's a piece of the material, and I just put it as a flap. Okay, what do we got here? Let's. Okay, here's the other piece of the paper here. Um, my fingers aren't working good today. All right, so here's one of the pictures like we've got on the front. And this is that material that I purchased. And look at that. Isn't that adorable? Looks to me like they're getting in trouble. Okay, and we get some washi tape on here. And I always reinforce my washi tape so it stays on. And we got another little tag in here. And of course, Raggedy Ann hearts, hearts, hearts everywhere. So we punched out some hearts to put on some of these papers. And more jelly print paper, some lined paper. Here's the other half of the doily, the heart doily. And here's another one of the journaling cards. This is such a cute one. I'll put it up here so you can see it. And it's got a little lace top to it. Stick it back in his pocket. And what do we got next here? Room for journaling, plenty of it. Another piece of my homemade paper I did like a collage and here's another pocket and another tag inside of that. So here's another page, another tuck spot in it. A lot of pinks and peaches and yellows and, and reds of course. Um, and okay, here is the back of that page I told you in the front that I had saved. And here's another piece that I got at the same time. And I just love this paper. Okay, so we open that up. And in here we've got picture Raggedy Ann and Andy. Like you can see how they're all different. And we've got a card in there. And I love this page. This is uh, Raggedy Ann and Andy, the American flag. And then I had some uh, tape, some washi tape, that was uh, slick and shiny. And so I put that on there. So I guess they're celebrating 4th of July or something. Okay. More hearts. More hearts in this one. Now this is a, a little bag. And made out of vellum and put, just put a little tag inside and then there's another pocket inside. Here's another piece of my homemade whoop, my homemade uh, paper. This is really fun to do. I really want to do more of this. Okay, this is a giant envelope on this side. 
So here's the envelope and here's the tag. Come on, tag. Tag inside the envelope. And then when you turn this over, this is actually a plastic bag. And I got it when I ordered something, I don't know what, a long time ago. So I put that on the other side of the envelope. And then here's another picture. And these are kind of the vintage ones. Sure, a lot of styles. Okay, so now we got Andy sitting there. Another tag. And I love this page. This page is printed on vellum. And what it is, is I will open it up. I don't know if you can see it or not. It is a McCall's pattern. People used to make their own Raggedy Ann and Andy dolls. So this is the pattern for it. And then it, it actually folds out one more time. But I thought, ooh, that'd be fun on the vellum paper. So, another page in a pocket. And some material. And my kitty is scratching my furniture. Stop it, kitty. All right, so this is a directional page that, uh, um, there's another side to it too. If you want to learn how, how to draw Raggedy Ann and Andy, this supposedly teaches you how to do it. So this has got a lot of little surprises in it. Of course, you'll have to go back to the other page to find it, but you can do that. All right. Another color me page. Gave Andy some time here. Some more of my handmade paper. And flowers. Raggedy Ann loves flowers. And then we've got an envelope here. And let's see. And then this just tucks underneath that little 3D embellishment there. Okay, here we go with some more papers. And more hearts. And this is a piece of material here. And it's put on some cardboard or some paper and for a pocket and then another tag. And then another color me page. All right, so here's the little girl that owns Raggedy Ann in this particular version. And here she is again. I fussy cut her out. There's more flowers. Okay, and this is paper that I did on the jelly printer. And it's bound in a couple different ways, but the center bindings for each one of these have, have the ribbons uh, still on them, so they're just hanging down from the bottom. And some journaling pages more pages. Here we go. And this is a dyed doily here and then a piece of the material that I cut out to put in the center of it. Pull it back just a little bit. More hearts. And then here is a yeah, put it up here. Okay. This is a paper clip, and this has got some of the materials that we used for making the book. Kind of like pieces of Raggedy Ann's dresses or something. And some 3D hearts here. And we've got another pocket, another card, some more of that homemade paper. And here's a homemade embellishment with a piece of the paper that I was able to cut off of the uh, paper that we used in the front and the back. Okay, so here's the other one for drawing. Isn't that cute? Tells you how to make the head and how to do everything. And another homemade uh, embellishment. And another little tuffy spot. Like I said, these were <clears throat> these were hard to find, the ones that you could actually use. All right, here's the back of that other large envelope that I showed you, and this also has a pocket in it. 
And then this is a piece of the material. And then this page with okay. it's, it's off the same book. And if any of you have been following me, you know that I bought a book to, to use the pages for, to use in here. But when it came, it was such a gorgeous book. And it was a 3D pop-up book. I, I could not tear it apart. In, in all, whatever, I just couldn't do it. So it is not in here. There might be some pictures, but it, the, the book itself is not in here. All right, so we're getting to the last pages, and um, this one here has some yarn around it, a little clip. And then this is an envelope here. But when it opens up, it opens up very long. And this is the back of it. So then it folds up like here, and then this tucks underneath the flower. And then it hooks to this page. And then we've got our yarn there. And the back of it. So, like I said, this was just so doggone much fun to make and um, here's the tassel again it's got a lot of materials that we used in it and it's got some sparkly materials and all that type of thing so so I hope you've enjoyed watching this and if you don't uh, already belong please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down at the bottom and I'd like to have you come along for some more adventures I'm not so sure there'll be Raggedy Ann but they will be something. I'm thinking of working on one right now, a child's life and, and using retro children. So I don't know. See what you think about that particular type. Um, leave me a little message on the bottom and um, I'm always glad to hear for everybody. And don't forget to hit that like button. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.